Hello and welcome to Rockstar Manager. I'm your hostess, Dr. K, the management professor, and today's episode is all about personal accountability. When a situation arises, are you likely to place blame externally or take full ownership of the outcome? Or is it somewhere in between? Let's find out. In the academic world, we call this locus of control. And this notion originated about 50 years ago with psychologist Julian Rotter. This is really best described as a scale with one end being an internal locus of control and the other an external locus of control. If you have an internal locus of control, then you will have a tendency to believe that you are personally responsible for the outcome based on your effort and your behavior, rather than locate the responsibility for the outcome in external forces. If you have an external locus of control, then you have a tendency to locate responsibility for the outcome in outside influences and are likely to believe that your own behavior has little impact, if any, on the situation. In general, the idea of locus of control isn't situational. Your tendency to hold yourself accountable transcends situations and is a pattern developed internally and displayed externally by where you place blame in your life. Let's walk through an example. You're late to an event. If you have an internal locus of control, you understand that you are late because you didn't allow enough travel time. You didn't take into consideration the time it took between the parking lot and the meeting room. You got carried away in conversation and lost track of time. You tried to squeeze in one more task off your checklist, or you didn't allow enough time to get ready. If you have an external locus of control, You believe you are late because traffic was slow, there weren't signs in the maze you had to get through between your car and the location, Joe Smith is a talker and you couldn't get away from the conversation, you simply had too much going on at work, or the hairdresser took longer than expected to do your hair. Now let's translate that to the workplace. You get a promotion, or did you earn it? If you earned that promotion, it's because of your hard work, your dedication to the project, the fact that you delivered the project on time, on budget, and with high quality. It's because you consistently arrive early and stay late. You help others develop their own skills or assist them with tasks. You demonstrate professional behavior. You enjoy working with others. People enjoy working with you. You're a valued resource and you welcome new challenges. If this is the case, then it's fair to assume you earned that promotion and have an internal locus of control. If you feel like you received that promotion rather than earning it, then you likely believe the promotion is based on your seniority within the organization, your particular gender or race, whether or not you have children, maybe it's because it's related to your marital status or your worldview, because you look the part, or because nobody else wanted that role. That's the mindset of someone with an external locus of control. Hopefully you can see by these examples that the outcome of the situation remains the same. Your perspective of how you arrived at the outcome is your own personal scale of accountability. Research shows that if you have an internal locus of control, you're more likely to be successful, live a healthier life, and in general are happier because you believe that you have the ability to control your life. When you believe you have the ability to change the trajectory of your outcomes that you experience, your motivation changes. Once you identify your category of locus of control, you can begin to hold yourself more accountable for the outcomes in your life and become the rock star manager you have the potential to be. If you're interested in learning more about locus of control, you can find my book, Rock Star Manager from Theory to Practice at Barnes & Noble or I have articles in the Journal of Values-Based Leadership and the Journal of Interdisciplinary Studies and Education that you may consider reading. Thanks for your time, be your best you, and be a rock star manager.